Hey guys, we're ready. For what? We're ready for an adventure. <laughs> okay. So, let's go. Let's go. We've been trying to let's go for an hour now. Hmm. Well, it's time. All right, guys, so we talked about getting stuff close to home all the time. Talking about getting your food, preserving it. Well, we don't have any apple trees at home, but we got some people here real close that we're going to take in and let you meet, and we're going to come up here, and we're going to get some fresh apples. They got a big event going on this weekend here and showing off things a little bit, so come on with us. We'll walk around, and we'll see what we got going on. Well, we know where we're going. that are broke open. Uh. All right, let's go pick some apples. We got the professional apple picker. I wouldn't say that because I just did the first one wrong. <laughs> These are Panova apples. These will soon to be applesauce. Fermented applesauce. What else are we gonna make out of these? Oh yeah, sauerkraut with apples. It's another good one. So it's all about the, what do you want to call it? It's all about doing something. Doing something. Yeah, it's all about the experience. Yeah. To come out and pick apples. Apples don't come from the grocery store. <laughs> they come yes. from trees. Apples don't come from the grocery store. It's all about the experience. And I'm 35 years old, and this is my first time ever picking apples in an orchard. So how does it go? We live like no other, so we can live like no other. That's a Dave Ramsey quote. Financial. It is. Advice. All right. So let's go up here to the building and we'll talk with some other people. All right, we're here with Mr. Birch. This is one of the owners and operators of the wonderful orchard that we took you guys through here. So we figured we'd meet with him for a little bit, let him give us a little background on his orchard because we tell you guys, you need to start small. You need to get with your group of people in your close knit area. You need to support the people in your close knit area. Keep your money at home. We need you to buy locally. So we'll let him do a little talking and, and uh, let him tell us a little bit about himself. Okay, well the orchard property is on an old dairy farm which was uh, dates back to the 1800s. Um, it had been dairy for a long time and then it was just hay fields when the dairy quit probably 20, 30, probably 35, 40 years ago now. And then uh, the Grimm's Kate and Andy Grimm bought the property as hayfields in 1998 and planted the first trees uh, in 1999. And those are trees that are still producing. In fact, people are picking on those trees today. Um, we're 100% dwarf trees on trellises. Um, it's about seven acres of trees, in, and there's 5,000 plus trees in that seven acres. How many varieties do We've you got, have? We've uh, got probably close to at least 24 varieties, I think maybe 25. And uh, 
I think the last new one we put in was the year before last. And with dwarf, dwarf trees, we can get apples in the third year that they're in the orchard. Um, and then I think the lifespan is about 20 years, so some of these trees are getting at the end of their life, but each plot is a little bit younger because it was planted in sequence. And so we're having to replace trees as we go. Um, so this is why we tell you guys you need to shop local. You need to stay local. These apples, these trees are specific and they have grown up in this area. So they're hardy when it comes to the kind of weather that we have here in, in the Mid-Ohio Valley. So if you guys are in the Mid-Ohio Valley or if you're somewhere close, even if you want to take a trip, this is something great. Come down here and see what these guys are doing. Take a trip. Go a road trip. Come down here and pick some apples. You can pick them on your own. They've got some up there. And this is some place you definitely need to stop by. But we want to thank you yeah, for thank meeting you. with us and talking with us. Yeah. And uh, we're going to take our apples and go home. We got those <laughs> fermenting videos to do. So we'll <laughs> see you guys later.